I uh, was fighting for uh, some of the folks who work on the beach um, earlier this year. Uh, and uh, it's really, I don't know, I, I think it's kind of shameful. Uh, these folks pay for a monthly parking pass, and then they show up and there's no space for them. So they have to park on the street, and then they get a ticket. So they're being double hit. And I proposed some changes that, you know, went nowhere. Um, but that's, that's terribly unfair. Talking to the owner of, of, of a bar down there, they can't keep employees. One person came in, worked the, um, the first day, got a ticket, and said, well, I can't afford to be here. And they were gone. Um, so it's a real, real serious problem that we, that we have to address. Um, and I definitely don't think we should be punishing people who, um, who actually pay for a monthly pass and then there's no way to use it. You know, how far do we go? How much do we subsidize private business? in their endeavors to, to keep their employees and that kind of stuff. It, it, it's tricky. I'm not, I'm not, you know, I'm not pushing it off. I'm just saying it's a complex question. And I, I don't think we can say uh, we're providing them uh, a lot to park in if we're not. Um, and as far as, you know, getting the choice spots, well, you know, they're not guaranteed a choice spot. Uh, uh, you know, they may be... <coughs> already filled in um, by other cars, um, you know. It, it just, uh, it's just a serious problem on the beach, and it's going to be uh, just as serious uh, downtown, and we really have to take some action, because soon the, you know, the, the old city hall lot is going to be built on, so those spaces will be gone. We'll have the garage across the street from that, but we do need more garages. As you said, the CMA lot is a possibility. Um, uh, you know, it's to the point where I think it may be reasonable to consider eminent domain for some of these empty buildings downtown. We, we have to um, support the folks who actually have businesses and support the amphitheater and the park and, and all the events we want to have down there. Um, and to have people sitting on empty buildings for seven years or more um, just doesn't seem uh, justifiable. So, Lena, you want a direction about whether or not Jennifer can have discussions with the property owner across from the library? Yeah, I just acknowledge that everything takes so long, right? And there's all these procedures. And, and I want to be proactive rather than reactive. So I would like the council's support in directing the staff to initiate conversations with the property owners across the street from the library for our future needs, whether it be parking or others. Okay. Is that something that the council would support? Sure. Well, and I'd, I'd be interested in knowing like what the Osceola plan looks like because I don't know that we'd want a whole line of parking garages along Osceola, but um, yeah, I mean, I think that property's up to be discussed anyway between, yeah. I don't have a problem with discussions. Thank you. going on. And, and just to be clear, the property owner is, is Scientology, right? And, yeah, sure, we can have discussions. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure why discussions. nobody's saying that, but that's who owns it. <laughs> so then thank you for bringing it up. <laughs> It is, and we did make that. Uh, the opening of Coachman Park made that a, a very attractive lot. Very attractive. 